welcome to the Right Away vlog. I'm Seba, a writer of YA fantasy, and today I'm going to be talking about diversity, because apparently I'm diverse. I will be answering one general question in this vlog posed by Leah19. Leah wants to know, how do you write about diverse characters if you don't come from a diverse background? So remember, diversity is just the state of being different from the norm. Race, religion, gender, sexual orientation, and physical capabilities are all types of diversity. Whatever the type of diversity, if you're going to write about diverse characters, you want to make sure that you do it authentically. And to do that, you need to do three things. Number one, research. Number two, interact. Number three, gather your findings and focus on the human element. Let me give you an example. Say I took American Sign Language in college, and now, a few years later, I want to write a book with a deaf protagonist. The first thing I do is research, which usually means going here. That's where I'd find valuable primary sources about the deaf community. Autobiographies of famous deaf figures, diaries, letters, newspaper clippings, etc. After I read through those, I'd start looking for books about deaf people, nonfiction and fiction, so anything from biographies and histories to novels and poetry. Things that can give me a little bit more insight into the community. Now for step two, interact. This one can be tricky, especially if you're shy, but really it can't be replaced. The best way to learn about a community is to get to know people in that community, either in person or online. So if I want to write about that deaf protagonist, I probably need to get to know a few deaf people. This can entail anything from connecting with a friend of a friend who's deaf, to attending a deaf poetry slam, to sitting in on a class taught by a deaf teacher. As I've said, if you're shy, interacting can be tough, but you can always start off by observing and then work your way up to asking thoughtful questions. By this time, all your research should help you ask good, specific questions as opposed to the sort of useless, generalized ones. Now for step three, gathering what you've learned and finding the human element. In the end, as Depeche Mode said, people are people. No matter what race, religion, culture, or gender a person is, they are, above all else, a person. That means that, like you, they can probably relate to the most basic of human issues. Love, heartbreak, family, freedom, desire, loneliness, etc. When you write diverse characters, try to keep in mind not just how they're different from other characters, but how they're similar, especially when dealing with their internal struggles and goals. This similarity is ultimately what will allow your reader to relate to a diverse character and really care about them. Leah, I hope that answered your question. Please check out Right Away this Thursday for the next video. Reach out to us at rightawayblog at gmail.com or find out more about me at sabatahir.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Sabah Tahir.